Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Clutch. All right, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself. And then I'll switch over to Sharpie, so don't worry if you can't see this. This is all for me. Just trying to figure out a good pose. And uh, then I'll switch over to, uh, to Sharpie. So mainly what I'm trying to do is think of a good pose to show off the Air Jordans, you know? Uh, I just did um, a grind. And I did him in like the, uh, um, what do you call it, the jump man pose. But uh, I don't want to do the exact same thing for her, so I was trying to think of maybe like just a jumping pose. And you know, maybe she's got a basketball. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad for that leg. I think I can live with that. Um, I'm, you probably can't see it, but I'm just trying to think of a good pose. And I, I have her kind of jumping in the air more than, than uh, uh, the Air Jordan pose, you know? So I think I'm going to stick with this. And then I'll bring this one down. I'm trying to think of perspective, like how her leg would be here. And then I can uh, do it like that because I'm gonna have it kind of behind her, kind of she's jumping in the air, you know. I had him like that, kind of, but not as as, as drastic as this one. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, and or at least the legs. So now I can switch over to um. The rest of her body. Yeah, that's too many lines. I drew a whole bunch of lines. I got crazy there with the lines. Um, let's see. Like that. I think that will make me happy. Okay. Um, let's see. And she's got her her like long uh, like jacket thing. You know what? Let me see if I can find a better picture real fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's see. It's going to be like right there. And then I'll just hang one of the Little flaps. I don't know why she's got flaps on her on her jacket. It, they kind of look like the flaps on uh, um, what's his name, um, Luminous. That's what they remind me of. His flaps. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's just draw this in there like that. Then that'll come up here like this, and so that's not too bad for the body. I'll uh, I'll stick with that. And let's see, our midriff is open like that. Um, let's see. Uh, how about I have her? Let's see. Maybe she is holding a basketball. What if we do that? Would that be too crazy? I mean, it's Fortnite, not basketball. But hey, they're the ones that brought uh, Eric Jordan into this. So, I'm not crazy for drawing it, you know? Um, I think that's pretty good. Um, just drawing out the fingers. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Uh, let's see, she has kind of flared out gloves. No need to allow for that. All right. Yeah, uh, let's see, and she has on. Something like that. Um, and let's see, her her hair is kind of. I'm gonna throw it around a bit just because it's. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
it's flying. So I could do that, draw our hat like this. There's our, our hood coming down. And I'm gonna kind of exaggerate that it's flying out a bit. Alright, I think I can live with that. I have that shoulder kind of up. Okay, so that means our neck would be right there. And this is where how this is where anatomy helps. Uh, go to your anatomy class or you know practice those those uh, life drawing skills because uh, this is when it comes into play like I know that you know when you raise your arm up your shoulder comes up higher so I can allow for that you know that's not bragging that's just saying I, I paid attention in class and I did my own study outside of class I have a couple of books it helps to, uh, to you know, uh, always be learning. Always be learning. You never, you never stop. You know. All right. Sure. Let's do it. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a basketball. Let's just go ahead and follow through with that plan. Okay. So let me finish up the face real fast. And, uh, and then we can get started. Sorry, I got quiet there. But uh, I was concentrating. All right. Let's see. Let's draw our mouth. Something like that. Our chin will be there. Go up like that. And I think, let's see, let's round this more. Like that, something like that. I think that's good. Um, it's a bit tall, so let me just erase that line real fast. And, okay, I think we are ready to, uh, go to inks you're welcome to uh, use a pencil or uh, use a sharpie as well um, yeah let's let's do it uh, I'm gonna start with the tinier sharpie the sharpie pen which is smaller than the fine point for some reason but I can control much easier with this sharpie pen so uh, I'm gonna do her eyes and uh, see if I'm happy with where we're going so I'm gonna do the top brow I always like to do that first to make sure it's even uh, to with the way the head is hang the head is angled. I almost said the head is hangled. Draw some pupils like that. I'm gonna draw. Oh, I already messed it up. But you know what? I'm gonna keep going because I I, I covered that up. I was trying to leave more white in the pupil there, but uh, I didn't. I messed it up so. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna draw some of her, her eyebrow. The hat is like this. So it's kind of covering up uh, her eyebrow here. And so I'm gonna draw her nose like this. Not much. See with, with this pen I can't I can't do a lot of detail, so I kind of have to be very careful with what I add. Um, so we're gonna draw her mouth. Like that, kind of a, a bit of a smile, just a just a touch. The top lip, bottom lip, like that. Not bad, not bad. So now I'm gonna draw her chin right here, and then I'm gonna come up to the side of her face, follow it along here. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna keep going. Oops, I kind of rounded her face off. There we go. Gonna give her, slim it up just a little bit. Same thing on that side, okay? And uh, her hair kind of comes over just a little bit. 
there like that and uh, let's see it's all black inside there so it's hard to see where the rest of her hair is but I guess it's all on the side here so I'm just gonna kind of do something like this and blacken that in that's all I can really do so I'll draw her neck down like this and then uh, I'll, I'm gonna use this still for the hat just because I can control it just a little bit better. And draw the top. And I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie in a second. I just wanted to uh, control that a little bit better. Um, let's see, I think that's about it. I'm gonna switch over to the big fat Sharpie now. So uh, I kind of have her hair, the big ponytail stuff off to the side because uh, uh, because she's flying through the air, I kind of have her like that. So I'm just going to kind of do this. And then I kind of have, do like that. And she's got it in a ring. But the way I have it flying off to the side, it's hard to see it. So I'm just going to do something like that. Okay. And then I can go ahead and continue the rest of it. So let's draw the hood is coming around going to be up like this coming down like that um, and I just kind of have wavy because I have her up in the air flying you know uh, heck let's go ahead and uh, draw it all the way down let's just keep going you know there's where the coat is so I'm gonna have it hanging down like that over her knee and uh, let's go ahead and do this side too so I'm gonna come down I'm gonna have that hanging over like that too bring it up to uh, where the knee's going to be. I have this one going down like this. You see the back of this part, like that, and I'm going to flow it up. And let's go ahead and just go all the way up to her arm, like that. And uh, we'll do this one too. Let's go ahead and do it. So it's going to be flared out just a bit from her knee. Same thing. Follow the contour of her body. Just kind of do like that for the shoulder okay so now this side is kind of off like this going above her head and back down I got kind of creased in because of uh, the way her arm is raised up so I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a few lines just to again show the creases that it's, it's bent up I got a whole bunch of them drawn here, but I really don't need that many. I kind of went overboard, so I'm just going to pretty much do that. So I can do this. Okay, so she's got her sleeve all wrapped up right there like that. And see, I just wanted to bunge it all up just because, you know, she's got her arm up. So we'll finish that in a second. Let's finish this right here uh, before we start going crazy with everything else. So I'm going to draw her uh, shirt and her shoulders up like that. Let's go ahead and draw her collar like that. Okay. And let's go ahead and uh, do this sleeve too, just to uh, finish up where we are. I'm going to draw that little uh, wrapped up sleeve like this. Draw some more um, folds like that. Just to, you know, make it come alive. That's all I'm really trying to do, you know. Um, so, heck, let's go ahead and just do some of this too. Something like that, just to, you know, uh, give it more than just an outline, you know, something a little more fun. So I know I colored that hair in, but I'm not going to do that one. I'm just going to uh, uh, take care of that with color. Um, I just started going crazy and realized that, you know, I shouldn't do that. So <laughs> that's why I stopped. So let's go ahead and draw this arm into the ball. And um, I think, I think I'm going to draw with a, a, a template for that. I've got a bunch of templates here that I didn't even think about off to my side that I'm going to use some of these to uh, draw that ball just to make it look more uniform. Okay, so I'm going to draw the arm down to the elbow like that, or the elbow, the, end, the crook of the arm, the inside of the elbow. This is down to the elbow. So I could draw the forearm like this. Oh, she's got those gloves. i got to remember to draw that. Like that. 
Okay, and so now I can draw her thumb disappearing behind the ball like that, her pinky out like this. And so now, let's see, what's a good size ball? What did I sketch? Something like that. So I'm gonna go one size bigger, like that. Yeah, I can live with that. Too big? Stick with this? You're right. Okay, so there, I'm just gonna follow along. Like that. Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'll draw some, some creases on her glove here. Just to, just to kind of show the inside of that part right there, you know? Just, just to, again, make it come alive. Okay, so let's draw this hand over here, and it's just kind of flaying, uh, flaying, flaying out like that. Let's stick with that word. It's flaying out like this. So uh, I'm just going to draw her arm to her glove, okay? So there's the arm to her uh, inside crook of her arm, forearm to the glove. The glove's going to be out like that. So same thing over here, backside of her arm to her elbow, forearm to the glove. Pretty simple. So now we're just going to do some kind of, you know, bumpy glove like that. Bring it out. There's the thumb. There's the hand. The hand. There's the first finger. Um, and let's go ahead and draw. Like that. First finger is going to be out like that. Let's see. I'm kind of remembering as I'm going how I sketched it. And so the fingers are kind of, oops, that's kind of thick. Something like that. That way we can uh, uh, give it some action, you know, something like that. So now let's draw the rest of her. So let's draw her, uh, her chest to her waist like that. You can't see this side because uh, of the um, jacket, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's just draw her um, top shirt like that. Um, let's see. I'll do that. Okay, and then her pants are pretty high, so we'll draw the waist of that. And then <clears throat> let's draw, let's see, her knee's going to be kind of like this, going in about to right there. This leg's going to be coming down. To the back of her knee to her pants, which are right there. Like that. Uh, and all this, and it's color, really. There's not much I can really do here. Um, I can draw a few lines, like some crease lines, but not much because, you know, it's just, just pants. Nothing special. Like uh, uh, sweatpants or something, you know what I mean? So uh, here, her leg is bent. So. All this is straight out, this is back behind her. So it's gonna be something like this, down to her ankle. Right, looks weird, like a nub, but it's just because of the, the way it's um, facing. So I'm just gonna draw the top of her shoe like this, back to her ankle like that. And all the uh, laces and all that stuff, I'm gonna do that with color. I'm not even gonna worry about the, um, drawing all this in, but I am gonna draw the swoosh just because that's why we're drawing it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna draw her ankle down, or her shin down to her ankle, back of her leg down to uh, that part of the ankle, and then I'm gonna draw the, the Jordan. All right, so let's see if I can do this. And again, I'm gonna take care of all that detail with uh, the laces and all that stuff with color. I just wanted to get that in there so I could draw the swoosh. Not bad, not bad. Please don't sue me, Nike. All right, I'm gonna take care of the rest with color. So that is clutch. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw.
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.